Are you nervous about your data science interview? Stick around and I'll give you three strategies to help you nail your next interview. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Illig, a career coach working with the online Masters of Business Analytics students at Wake Forest University. I also co-host the podcast, How to Get an Analytics Job. I help students and clients land their next data science and analytics jobs. Today, we're going to be talking about interviewing, specifically three strategies to help you nail your next data science interview. But before we dive into that, I do need to give a shout out to our sponsor. We are sponsored by Strata Scratch, which is a great platform that you can use to practice your interviewing for technical interviews with over 300 SQL problems and 200 Python questions, as well as 12 problem sets. Strata Scratch is a great place for you to practice your technical interviewing skills. You can click the link below for a 15% off discount from Strata Scratch. All right, now that we've covered that, let's dive into our content. We're gonna talk about three strategies to help you nail your data science career. The first of these strategies is preparation. You want to ensure that you are prepared for the interview. So in addition to preparing your answers to common interview questions and your elevator pitch, which a lot of people will tell you to do, I'm gonna tell you to take this a step further. Go ahead and create a portfolio. A portfolio is a great way for you to show hiring managers your analytical skills. You could talk with hiring managers about what your abilities are, your technical abilities, or you could show them with a portfolio. I would also tell you to research. Research the company, research current news, and research the job description. By researching the company and current news, you'll notice if there's anything that's recently may have impacted this business. You also will show that you are really interested in this particular company and organization and you want to be there. By reviewing the job description, you're able to link your past experience and skills with their ideal qualifications. The second thing I would tell you to do to nail your data science interview is make sure that you have your personal branding stories ready to go. So when I talk about personal branding, this is all about who you are as a professional. What makes you unique? So ask yourself these questions. What makes me stand out as a data scientist? If I were going to create a highlight reel for myself, what stories would I include? And if I were gonna ask a hiring manager or colleague about what my best compliments are as a professional, what would those be? This is all about your strengths. Be thinking about what it is that you bring to the table that nobody else does. You have unique experiences, unique backgrounds, successes, and lessons learned that nobody else has. So what you wanna do is come up with a way to talk about those things so that you can be compelling to a hiring manager. The last thing I would tell you to do, in addition to personal branding, is make sure that you talk about your impact. So I think often in this space, we see that people have really strong technical skills. However, they don't always link those technical skills to the business outcome. And what that means is we don't know the results of your actions. If you can showcase to a hiring manager the results of your actions, why you add value, show how your technical skills relate to the business goals and objectives, this is going to set you apart from another applicant. And so what I want you to do is I want you to think about what action you took, but then think about those results. So ask yourself questions like, what happened because I did this? How was this helpful for the business or for the client that I was working for? And you can think about things like, if I created a visualization, for example, then what were the results of that? Did it help us increase sales on a particular product? If I created a forecasting model, what was the accuracy of that model and what happened as a result of using that model? So you always wanna link your technical experience to the impact that it had on the business. You always wanna show those results. And bonus for all of you out there, if you can talk about the quantities associated with those results, that's gonna take this even further. So think about percentages and dollar amounts. Those are my three tips for nailing your next data science interview. If you want more content related to how to get an analytics job, feel free to subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for tuning in.